everyone, welcome to Baby Desiree Thursday. If you're new here, I'm Erin and this is my wife Jodie. Hi. And we did our first cycle of IVF earlier this year and are now pregnant with our first baby. Uh, if you want to catch up on our IVF journey, we recorded it all and we'll link a playlist for you in the description box below so you can go and watch that. And subscribe while you're here, please. So today, I am 10 weeks pregnant and I'm going to recap you on what's been going on for this last past week of my pregnancy. I'll talk a bit about how I've been feeling. It's much of the same as it has been for the last couple of weeks. So I'm still feeling really tired, still not having any morning sickness, which is nice, still hungry and I'm this week I'm feeling a lot of um, really bad trapped wind, <laughs> TMI, but yeah, it's really uncomfortable and when it gets low down it feels like there's a lot of pressure around my womb kind of area from it and I'm also feeling like I need to wee a lot and when I do wee, it's a, a big wee. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Apparently your kidneys produce like 25% more urine when you're pregnant, which is Does it a feel lot. about 25%? It, yeah, it feels out. about 25% extra. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, oh. and also when I really need a wee and I don't go straight away, I feel a lot of pressure down there as well. Um, that's relieved when I when I go for a wee. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's what's going on. <laughs> that's what's been going on this week. Uh, but other than that, I feel absolutely fine. It, the main thing is the tiredness. It's uh, it's very draining. Yesterday I had a pretty bad day where I just felt exhausted by early evening and then I got a really bad headache and wanted to die. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I feel a bit better today. My head's alright. Sometimes, sometimes she seems a bit perky and then you do something and then you're like a completely different person yeah. and you're like dying and your skin's hanging off your face. And yeah, <laughs> uh, and like we'll go like a out zombie. and walk the dogs and then on the way back from walking the dogs I'll be like, yeah, she's so quiet and I'm like, are you feeling tired now? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's how I've been feeling. And I also feel like my boobs have gotten bigger again. Like they got bigger at the start and I feel like they've, had another little growth spurt recently because um, they're looking massive <laughs> compared to what they used to. So yeah, there are lots of nice um, changes happening. All good stuff though, getting ready for this baby to come. If you didn't see in our last video, we've now got an appointment for our 12 week scan which is going to be on the 21st of July and I'm very excited about that. Can't wait to see the baby and see make sure everything's okay and see it looking a bit more like a baby now so that's exciting and it's uh, the day before our one year wedding anniversary yeah and today I am, have cut down my um, progesterone pessaries to only one at night which is very nice it was nice to not have to wake up in the morning and put one of those in um, so this week is just going to be one a night, which is going to be so much easier and I can't wait to get off them all, all together. So that's good. Yeah, and uh, Jodie's going to tell you a little bit of facts about what the baby's doing in there at this moment. So we're at the 10 week mark now and the fetus mm -hmm. is a fetus at this point mm -hmm. and the bones and cartilages are starting to form all over the body, yeah. but they're still very soft at the moment. Also, at this stage, the baby's liver and kidneys are starting to function and remove waste through the umbilical cord. Also, the baby is the size of an olive, which is 3.1 centimetres and weighs approximately 4 grams. And apparently, my womb, or uterus, has expanded from its normal size, which is about the size of a woman's fist, apparently, to the size of a large orange. But, to me, that looks like an that orange. That looks like the size of a large orange, or, or I don't know how big of an orange they're talking. Maybe, I don't maybe, know. Maybe, maybe, maybe wherever this app's from, oranges are oranges are bigger. <laughs> but yeah, maybe that's <coughs> what 
maybe that's something to do with the extra pressure I'm feeling down there when I have like wind and wee pains uh, because my womb's got gotten bigger. Mm, probably. Yeah, it's crazy the stuff your body goes through while you're pregnant and like how quickly all these different bits of the baby develop inside you. So yeah, interesting stuff. I just want to say that from a previous vlog that I did about my worries, they've not stopped. <laughs> I'm still worried. Mm -hmm. How do you think I've been? Not too bad. I think you, you're not talking about it as much and you do seem to be looking up more things that make you feel a bit more positive mm -hmm. or you know kind of put your mind at ease a bit I feel like maybe you're getting a bit better I think that at the 12 week scan I'm going to be really emotional if everything's alright yeah. because I feel like the weight is just going to be lifted yeah. and I'm not going to worry as much at that point yeah hopefully yeah, I think I might even get emotional at this scan, and I'm not really one for public displays of emotion. Neither am I. No, I know you're not, but, you know, you're a lot more worried than I am, aren't you? Um, yeah, I think you kind of just go through little days where you seem more worried than others. Mm -hmm. But I do think you're doing better. Cool. Yeah. So that's everything for this week's update and we'll be filming another one of these next week so stay tuned for that and like I said earlier subscribe if you're not yet. If you enjoyed this video give it a like and leave us a comment down below. You can tell us about your pregnancy or chat to us about anything you like and we will see you guys in another vlog probably over the weekend or early next week. See you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye. are the Desirees and we are wait no not not we are <laughs> also at this stage the liver and the kidneys are beginning to what function the liver and kidneys are starting to function and remove waste from the umbilical cord mm -hmm. the liver and kidneys are starting to function function and remove waste function during the umbilical cord right. Also, the liver and the kidneys are starting to function at this point, and <laughs> the liver and kidneys are starting to function and remove waste through the umbilical cord. Why can why can I not do it? Why can't I do it? Why can my brain not retain that information? It can. Right, just stop looking at it. Just say it from your memory. I haven't got a memory. You have. It's, I it's in there. You've it's... said it a lot of times now. Yeah, you know it. In there. Just not. say it. I've got it. I've got it. I know you have. I have. Also, at this stage, the liver and kidneys are functioning and are starting to remove the waste from the umbilical cord. <laughs> Except it's through the umbilical cord, not from the um umbilical cord. Oh! Let me do it one more time. <laughs>